Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Amanda Moxley and in this week's video, I want to give you my best hiring tips because you might be in this place where you are ready to hire your next virtual assistant or assistant to support you in your growing business as a speaker, an author, or a coach or consultant. Now, before we get started, I want you to click the bell so that you can subscribe and that way you get notified every week when a new Mo Amox Talks of YouTube video drops your into your inbox. Hi, I'm Amanda Moxley and I want to welcome you to Rise Up, where over three days we're going to work together to speak your way to success so you can unleash your true voice and create a signature talk that you can go out and use in your community, online, etc. to impact millions and make millions and learn my success secrets about, it's actually called the Moxley Method. If you want to learn the Moxley Method about how to rise up and speak your way to success, and I can't wait to see you soon. So let's get into it. So the very first thing is you got to understand, you got to write up what is your dream assistant and how do you look at that? Well, you look at all the tasks that you're currently doing, you decide which tasks you really hate doing, which tasks you suck at doing and which tasks that you wish you could delegate and you're going to make a list of those. Then you're going to write up a job description and you are going to write out how many hours a week you need, what are the tasks you're gonna have your amazing assistant do for you, and you're gonna have a job description. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to take a personality test. You could take the Colby test, you could take the DISC profile test. It doesn't matter, you wanna take a test and you wanna figure out, perhaps you already have, figure out what is your personality. Now, you're gonna figure out what is the best personality, usually is someone who is opposite of you or who has different strengths than you. So, in that job uh, description, you're going to add, I'm looking for this kind of person with these kind of strengths, here are my strengths, here are my weaknesses, here's what I really need. You're gonna put that into the profile. Then, the next thing you're gonna do is you are going to reach out to your warm market and the people you know in on social media or in your contacts and you're gonna say, who, I'm looking for an admin, I'm looking for someone to support me with said, 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 said tasks. And then, what you wanna do, if that if your warm market doesn't come back to you you can also try places like upwork or other virtual assistant sites online then after that you've got these applicants you've got them coming in here's what i recommend you email them a job description and you ask them to reply back with a video video of them sharing why they, what their strengths are why they want this job why they want to work with you and you want them to fill out either that Colby assessment form or the DISC assessment form so you understand what their personality is like. Now, if someone is not willing to do a video for you, that's a red flag. So you, you wanna just be able to fill this out and filter through people before you actually interview people. The next phase you're going to move into is actually interviewing people, having conversations with people. This is just an interview. You wanna actually fill these people out to see if they are a good fit for you. Figure out what time zone they're working in. Because if you're in Hawaii time and they're in East Coast time, you're gonna be six hours apart. So you wanna figure out what is their best way of communicating? How do they handle stress? What are their hours of operation? What are, what are their hobbies? What are the things they like to do? How are they and blah, 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 blah. You just wanna to get to know them, feel if you actually would like this person in your organization. So after you've gotten this interview and you feel like it's a good fit and you picked your person, what I would recommend is that you try starting out with a two week trial. You want to send them a contract that is a non-disclosure, a non-compete, and you want to slowly give away the keys of the castle and you want to test them out for the two week period. And during that time, you want to definitely stay very close to them. You want to communicate with them. You want to lead them. After that two week time, I would recommend that you have an evaluation with them. Evaluate them, see how they're liking working with you, see how you're liking working with them. And then from there, decide if you want to continue to go. Now, as you've all heard in the past, you want to hire slowly and fire fast. So if they are not the right fit or you're seeing red flags, you wanna communicate early and often and consistently with them. And if they are not the right fit, you gotta let it go sooner than later, stop tolerating. And then from there on, you want to lead your team. So you need to figure out how you're gonna best communicate with your team. 
You can use, I use Facebook Messenger, you could use Voxer, which is an app, you can use Slack, you can use email, but you wanna set up consistent communication and you also want to invest in training your team because ultimately the, tree, the team is looking up to you as the, as the visionary and the person who's leading the projects and leading the force. Definitely do not give your power away and do not think that, this, that your assistant is your coach, okay? Or your therapist or even your best friend. Like you wanna have very clear boundaries. You wanna know, let them know where you stand, where they stand and everyone is focused on getting the job done. I want to hear from you. I hope these tips helped. They were a little brief, but pop it into the to the comments below and let's continue the discussion over at the Moxley Method Speaker Society over on Facebook and also on Instagram at Amanda J. Moxley. And I wish you the best of luck. Having your own assistant feels so good. And all you have to do is lead, 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 and love. Do you want to grow a successful business as a speaker? All you have to do is go to amandamoxley.com forward slash training, and I'm going to share with you my entire Moxley method, my mindset, the strategy, the structure, and the system behind my consistent multiple six-figure business. All you have to do is go to amandamoxley.com forward slash training and sign up today.